This is Ableton certified dub spot instructor Thavius Beck with another edition of Did You Know? Did you know that Ableton Live has a built-in step recording feature? Well, it does, and we're going to show you exactly how to use it right now. If you look at my session, I have two MIDI tracks. Uh, one is playing a synth pattern, very simple synth pattern. And on my other MIDI track, I have a drum rack with a drum kit called Carbonized, and I have a blank MIDI clip. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to create a drum pattern to go along with this little synth thing that I have going on. All right. If I wanted to, I could record something into this MIDI clip in real time, or I could just draw in the notes using my mouse and double clicking here on the grid. But I actually have a third option, which is to step record. Now, by step recording, that means that I'm able to use uh, whatever MIDI device, my MIDI controller, to input notes into this MIDI clip one by one exactly where I want them to. So again, instead of playing it in real time, instead of using my mouse to double click, I can use my MIDI controller and still get that precision control of using my mouse by placing the notes exactly where I want. So how does this work? The first thing we need to do is we need to arm our MIDI track so that the track is receiving MIDI input. So the track is armed. I'm currently using my computer keyboard uh, as my MIDI controller, which you can do just by making sure that this button is enabled. All right, so my drum rack is receiving MIDI input. The next thing I want to do, go into my MIDI clip. And again, I've just double clicked here to create a blank one bar MIDI clip. And I actually want this to be two bars. So let me change the loop length. All right, now I must enable this preview button here. By doing that, if I click on any of these, this little piano roll, I can preview the notes. Also, if I uh, place a note in here or I move it, I'll be able to hear it. All right. So now with this button enabled, our MIDI track is armed. I want to click in here so that my cursor is inside my MIDI track. Now moving uh, my left and right arrows on my computer keyboard, I can move this cursor where I want it to go. So you see that. So let's bring it to the beginning. Now, if I want to input a note, what I do is on my MIDI controller, I'm going to hold down that note. Right now it's the kick. As I hold this note, if I want to place it where my cursor is, I'm going to hit my right arrow, which will move the cursor forward as I'm holding down that note. And now you see that note has been placed on the grid for whatever the resolution of the grid is. If I look in the lower right hand corner, I can see my grid resolution is set to 16th notes. And I can change that by right clicking and I can change the grid resolution here. Or if it's set to adaptive grid, then I can change it based on zooming in or zooming out. All right. So we place that note there. Now, if I want to make it longer, okay, let's play that, put that note there again. I'm going to hold down my kick while holding that down. I'm going to hit the right arrow once. If I want to make this longer, you notice I'm still holding this kick button down. So as I'm still holding it down, if I want to make this longer, I hit my right arrow again. I can keep pressing it to make the note longer. If I want to make it shorter. While I'm holding the note, I just press the left arrow to make it shorter. If I want to delete it, bam, it's gone. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this lead right here, and I'm going to start drawing in a pattern on my little uh, MIDI clip here. So we're going to put a kick there. Let me go in and put some snares on the three. Let's see. We'll put that there. that there all right let me find my hi-hats There we go. 
So just that easily, we're able to draw in these notes. Again, using our MIDI controller, launching this MIDI clip, letting it loop. We don't ever have to stop, but we can still place notes precisely where we want them instead of drawing them in by hand. So this is most useful, especially say like if you're trying to do a very complex, say a hi-hat pattern, maybe you want to do a part where there's like a 30 second note roll or something like that. Instead of trying to play it in by hand, and maybe you don't feel like drawing it in with your mouse, this is another way for you to input your MIDI notes into your MIDI clip. So the more options you have, the more ways you have to work and get your ideas out of your head and into the computer. This is Ableton certified Dovespot instructor, Thavius Beck, and now you know. Welcome to Dovespot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, Dubspot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore Dubspot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.